Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. I'm armed with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. I'm using that time to attempt to visit every civil parish in England. You're watching the Harrogate series. Harrogate is a large borough, one of the 11 districts of North Yorkshire. It's got 139 civil parishes. Which one are we in in this episode? Welcome back to Harrogate again, everybody. Now, today I've brought you to a place that's two settlements in one, but it's got about four or five little areas of, of habitation. It's spread out all over the place. Its name is Kirby with Netherby. <laughs> Here's my disclaimer for people who may be watching me for the first time. I say things as I would in my native accent and dialect. As a result, I may not pronounce things in the same way as the locals do. Remember, I'm a visitor. It's impossible to know everything. Leave me a comment, spin me a like, and bash that subscribe button. Let's get to today's parish video. Kirby with Netherby, Kier's farm with a small village. This week in Harrogate, I'm going to take you deep into the heart of the Yorkshire countryside. This one features two main settlements and a whole host of other isolated buildings and farms, all within one of the most picture book locations in the county. This is Kirby with Netherby, a tract of land on the northern slope of the Wharf Valley, from which several magnificent views can be enjoyed, if you know where to go. The main settlement is Kirby, although arguably it's Netherby that's the larger, owing to the presence of a caravan park that accounts for more than half of the hamlet. Farming remains the dominant occupation in these parts, but there are several clues dotted around that point to how life would have been way back when. Landmarks are pretty sparse, and you do have to dig deep to find them. That said, the two main ones, the River Wharf and the Kirby Methodist Chapel, still give us plenty to talk about. The chapel is the only religious building in the parish, and it serves not just these places, but also Sickling Hall and Kirby Overblow too. In Netherby, we'll learn of a tragic tale which claimed the lives of some ill-fated swimmers, proving that although it might be beautiful out here, nature can be, and unfortunately is, a dangerous animal. Let's get moving everyone! We begin our trip in Clapgate. It's part of Kirby, but if you're ever asked for directions in these parts, don't say you're in Kirby. It will be impossible to determine your location else. You do have to specify which part of Kirby you're in if you're asked about your location. You see, Kirby is split into several small sections. It's by no means a contagious village. What makes it more confusing is that depending on which map you're using, certain parts of Kirby don't necessarily have the same name as the one you might be talking about. To clear that up, I'll explain where we are and where this drive is taking us. Clapgate is the area where this drive began, and currently we're heading south towards Chapel Hill, which is often known, incorrectly, as Kirby Town End, probably due to its size relative to the other parts. In actual fact, Kirby Town End is literally just this section of road, with a few houses and farms between Clapgate and Chapel Hill. Honestly, it's proper confusing. So this is Chapel Hill, and it's not much more than just a collection of farms, outbuildings and residences that sit on top of a hill overlooking the Wharf Valley. It's very small. In total, it took me less than 10 minutes to get between the two extremes of this settlement. Mind you, it might have taken me longer in the other direction. Here you can see why. 
Chapel Hill is indeed a hill, and a steep one at that, with a gradient of 1 in 6. No hill has ever put this intrepid traveller off yet, mind you. Although tiny, Chapel Hill still has a parish notice board, so let's mark Kirby with Netherby off the list. For the rest of the amble down the hill, it was just a case of taking it all in. There's some fabulous property in these parts, complemented by some stunning panoramic views. Here's one particular offering from the steepest part of the incline. The road we're on rounds a sharp hairpin-like bend at this point, which is always a good indicator that you're on a hill. The only side roads are dead ends like Pasture Lane, which becomes a footpath at its limit and heads towards the River Wharf. It's all rather quiet up here as well. Very few folk, less than a hundred in fact, call this home. Kirby's recorded history is a bit thin on the ground. It was mentioned in the Doomsday Book as Cheruby, probably deriving from an old Danish personal name. Historically a township in the parish of Kirby Overblow, all this used to be in the Old West Riding of Yorkshire, before becoming a separate civil parish in 1866 and transferring to North Yorkshire in 1974. Farming has always been the dominant economic activity. Hidden away, there are doubtless lots of indicators of past times, but we'll get a better handle on those when we get to Netherby. And speaking of Netherby... Okay, so this is the point where Kirby sort of ends and then runs off into the countryside. It's downhill all the way, which means now I've got to trudge my way back up this one in six hill to get to the top again, pick up the car, and then we'll head down into Netherby. Now, Netherby is, if anything, a tad bigger than Kirby. There's not much in it, but looking at the map, it looks a tiny bit bigger. And it's got access to the river, the river, because we're heading down into the River Valley. Now, that has got a tragic tale to tell. So let's go and tell it in Netherby. Netherby is more of the same, although here the road is at least a little flatter. Now, as we already know, farming was and still is a key economic driver in the area. These cottages all display names that refer to a dairy, suggesting there was one here at one time. Again, though, these are only clues, as Netherby's history is just as scarcely recorded as that of its parochial sibling. However, one thing is for sure. These days, tourism is starting to play much more of a role in this part of Yorkshire. Several footpaths and bridleways have always attracted walkers, but what about those wishing to stay? Well, here in Netherby, you can indeed stay. This is Mostyn Park, which describes itself as a secluded backwater in the heart of the Yorkshire Dales. It has static caravans, but also space for tourers too. Bird watchers like this place. Red kites released from the bird garden at Harewood are a common sight overhead. The park features its very own pub called The Stables, whose food is sourced locally. Recreation-wise, Mostyn Park has its own games room, which has snooker and pool tables, but fishing is an attraction for people here too, owing to the proximity of the River Wharf. Although angling is fine here, I must stress to you the dangers of swimming in the River Wharf. In the 1960s, it was seen as an alternative to the coast because not all families could afford a trip to the seaside. Sand was brought from the beaches at Bridlington to create an artificial bay at Netherby Deep. It was here, though, in 1963, where two children named Andrew and Stuart Nicholson drowned in a tragic accident, which tainted this popular holiday spot forever. Now a sign stands just downstream of Harewood Bridge, simply saying the words, avoid this like you would the plague. Well, that tale just goes to show people that as nice as rivers look, as beautiful as they look, as peaceful as they look, they are dangerous things. So stay out of the water unless you are capable shall we say of uh, getting yourself out of trouble but most of most of us aren't so the majority of us will have to stay on dry land okay there's a little bench here where i've perched myself just to finish this little walk off we're not finished with this episode just yet though because as i said earlier there are plenty of places around kirby with netherby where you can get a great view of the countryside there is actually a viewpoint that's on a hill above the village of netherby it's kind of between the two villages on a hill so let's go up there and see exactly what yorkshire looks like on this beautiful fine spring day well trust me when i tell you this folks this is a designated viewpoint for a reason. Check this out. 
isn't Yorkshire fabulous? I love finding viewpoints like this because they just show off the great British countryside, the Yorkshire countryside. And you know what they say about Yorkshire? If it ain't done Yorkshire way, it ain't good. If it ain't Yorkshire, it ain't good. So said Jeffrey Boycott once upon a time. Right, okay, I'm just gonna head across to this bench over here because, whoops, there's a car coming, better be quick. Oh, I went the other way anyway, that's okay. There's a bench here with a couple of plaques on it. Let's see. So we've got in memory of George Savile, long service as a parish councillor. Bert Verity, again a parish councillor and chairman. And Kathy Webb also gave long service to this parish from 1984 until 2006. I wonder how many of those three sat on this bench and admired that view while they were alive. I imagine all three of them did at one point. I reckon this is probably gonna be a favorite spot for people around here. What do you say? We can't stay here all that long though because I've still got other villages to cover. So we're gonna move on. We're gonna head on up this road that way towards a chapel, which we'll finish this episode off. To finish with, we have Kirby Methodist Chapel, which is located just along the hilltop from the viewpoint. As you approach the building from the south, it stands out like a sore thumb, but quickly disappears behind a nearby house. So to get a better view, I stopped and had a closer look. Built in 1809, the chapel has served the area for well over 200 years and continues to do so today. This is the only religious building in the entire parish, and it holds a regular service every Sunday at 3pm. Whilst all are welcome, just be aware that parking spaces for this one are fairly limited. And with that, we are done. Kirby with Netherby is quite the interesting parish, all things considered, and this episode certainly hasn't been anything like normal. Next week, though, we'll have much more of a normal trek around a village which was once voted one of the 54 poshest in the country. That's quite a title. See you there. for watching this video folks don't forget to like this episode if you haven't already it really makes a difference with youtube if you're new here subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and give us a share too if you've got friends who'd like it you can find all the links to my social media accounts below as well as my buy me a coffee page where you can donate to the channel also if you've enjoyed this episode have a look at some more videos in this series until next time i've been andy also known as the village idiot and i'm out <laughs> <laughs>